Hey guys, Tom here, and um, we're just doing a quick performance comparison between the Surface RT on the left and the Surface 2 on the right. Um, if I go to the desktop on both, uh, you'll see that the Task Manager is running and there's no apps running. Um, they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Um, if we go back in and try the music application, what you'll see is it's obviously already loaded and the thumbnails seem to load a little bit quicker than they w will on the uh, RT here. That's quite a common thing across the uh, RT performance. And let's try Internet Explorer. So it's already loaded on the 2. It's just loading up on the RT now. And the, uh, the page has already, already started loading. So there's a slight difference in performance there as well. Um, let's try the Games app. And so we're already loaded on the 2. And we can go into the game activity. Still sort of loading here, and then we're loaded. So again, lagging behind. Um, let's try the mail. So we're already in on the Surface 2, and we're just getting in on the RT. Um, let's try some of the multitasking. Uh, right. So if we bring, say, music. Uh, no, let's try Internet Explorer on the side by side. See what you notice is even on the 2 it resizes the frame a little bit quicker than it does on the RT. And it's all these sort of subtle um, performance improvements that make it overall a lot quicker. Um, and let's try some other apps. Uh, so let's try Twitter. And we'll get that to load on the right hand side. So this is a third party app um, and it seems to be pretty slow on both so should be a good test. So it's still going, it's actually loaded quicker on the RT here and um, we're still waiting on the two. But um, the Twitter app for RT seems to be pretty slow to load generally. Um, and now let's go back and try the store. Now the interesting thing about the store is when we're sort of resizing once it once it loads on both. When we're resizing it, it refreshes the content quite a lot. So it's a good it's a good way to sort of check out how performant these devices are. So you can see it's refreshing. Let's resize that over here. But we're still waiting here. But we've got nothing. And there we go. So again, it's just it's just these little things that that make this a little bit faster to use. And um, let's try Word on desktop. It's both going. It's already loaded on the right. And you see that where it's drawing it again. Um, it's a little bit laggy. Uh, let's try PowerPoint perhaps. So it's already loaded on the two. Um, there we go in the uh, RT. Um, I don't think there's many other ones we could try, perhaps Skype. So we're loading on the two. So it's obviously a little bit quicker on the, on the two there. We're still waiting on the RT. Um, but yeah, mainly, mainly it's like small improvements, the performance improvements that will will sort of add up over time. Obviously Skype's still, still taking its time here. Um, but yeah, mainly it's uh, little improvements that are making it a lot, a lot faster on the, on the two. And you, you, you mainly notice it when you're multitasking multiple apps and cha changing the screen size. That's the, that's the main thing. Let's just go back in there to Internet Explorer. So even that, just, just basic resuming of apps and snap the mail on the side. 50-50. That wasn't too bad. And the store again, because that's a good one. Actually, let's just try navigating through the store. So still, still waiting for Facebook to load there. So yeah, there's, there's lots of little areas where 
I think Microsoft has done some changes on the RT to improve things, especially on the music app. Um, but the two is still way ahead in, in terms of app performance. Um, if you want to check out our full reviews um, for the Surface 2, um, that's available at theverge.com. Thanks.